devotions for people at a social distance. I'm reading today from Matthew chapter 22 in N.T. Wright's translation. One of them, a lawyer, put Jesus on the spot with this question. Teacher, he said, which is the most important commandment in the law? You must love the Lord your God, replied Jesus, with all your heart, with all your life, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and it's the one that really matters. The second is similar, and it's this. You must love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law consists of footnotes to these two commandments, and that goes for the prophets, too. I found that passage kind of interesting to read, reflections on the law and the commandments and how they function. Uh, I have noticed that as we try to maneuver and manage this uh, pandemic crisis, one of the tools that that cities, governments uh, are trying to use is, of course, the law. We are trying to use laws and rules to regulate people's uh people's actions and to enforce uh, the practice of social distancing and uh, uh, similar things. And I've just noticed how clunky, how inexact the law seems to be at doing that. Uh, we're not really seeing a great track record. You know, we're seeing, uh, you know, certain certain rules being enforced on people, on their behavior, kind of uh, without much consistency, you know, people being ticketed for, for being in parks when there's actually no uh, regulations against that, though there are regulations against certain activities in the park. And and it's a little bit of a mess. And it's, it's also, you know, there are certain people living in certain situations. For example, people living in cities where the population is very densely packed together, where it's actually not practically possible for people to follow uh, the the social distancing regulations. There's just too many people around who are too close. We are finding the law being rather clunky, rather imprecise in terms of responding to this crisis. And we often don't think of the law that way. We think of the law as something that's being being very precise, very targeted, and we are just seeing a lot of the limitations that are on the law and its abilities these days. And it makes me reflect on, on trying to regulate morality, which is, of course, what we have in the Bible in the form of the commandments. And yes, sometimes it can be helpful, obviously, to tell people how they're expected to behave, but it also tends to be a bit clunky. When Jesus was challenged on the law and, and how the law really ought to work, uh, he didn't pull out, you know, there's, there's this thou shalt or thou, that thou shalt. He went, like many other Jewish rabbis before him, he went straight to love. And we need to be motivated by love. Uh, if we think in this present crisis, we're going to, figure it all out by just getting the laws and the rules and the regulations just right, my friends, we will fail. Uh, there is no law, there is no regulation that's going to absolutely get everybody's behavior just right. That is the limitation of law. But as Jesus very wisely point out, uh, where the limitations of law come, uh, we need to respond with love love of God, and above all in these days, of course, love of neighbor. Uh, it's not just about saying to this person or that person, you are behaving wrongly. It's about looking at your own behavior and seeing, am I acting in a loving way to my neighbors at this time? And that means, of course, you're going to be practicing social distancing. It means you're going to be as careful as possible in any interactions you have and obviously limit those interactions as much as possible. About It's about when you go into grocery stores or if you can possibly avoid it as long as possible. These are the things we all need to do, not because of laws and rules, but because of love. So let's just be aware of the limitations of laws and rules of commandments. And I hope as we all learn 
and this is not just for Christians, for all of us, as we learn to be motivated by love of neighbor, it's actually the way through. So thank you to Jesus for showing us the way through. Let's pray. Lord, it's frustrating trying to figure out how to follow the laws and the rules and the commandments as best as possible right now. None of us can do it perfectly. We're, we're realizing how hard it is to apply laws and rules in this ever-moving situation. Let us be motivated above all. Let us act out of love. Love of God, love of neighbor. Thank you that ultimately love is the way through. Amen. Love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, your mind, your neighbor as yourself.